So, so I've made a tier list about Kanye West before. So I thought, you know what? Let's do Juice World. And you know, I watched my good friend Punk Monk do this as well regarding Juice World. So I thought, let's have a go now. I don't know if some of these takes will be hot. I don't really care to be honest if they are hot, because what are you gonna do, huh? Like, dox me, go for it. All right. Firstly, it's obvious. Goodbye and Good Riddance is, I think, it's undeniably Juice World's best album. Um, it was his debut album as well, right? Um, I mean, I believe he had albums before that in terms of like, um, you know, like stuff that he released, like EPs and stuff like that. But it was his first breakout album and it sold pretty well first week. I'm pretty sure it sold 50, 60K, something like that. But it had huge hits, you know, All Girls Are The Same, Lucid Dreams, Armed and Dangerous. It was just full of hits. And it only had one feature being Lil Uzi Vert, which again is a huge dub. A lot of people love Wasted. I think it's a great song as well. It's just unskippable, really. Like there's not really any skips that I see other than the skits. I'm not a big fan of skits. I usually skip them. I'm sorry. I know people might cry. And even the lowest stream songs, stuff like Used To, even those songs are really good. So it's a really good album. It follows a theme. It's his breakout album that just blows him up, right? It, it's crazy. It's a great album. Now, next up, ah, man, I'm just going to put Death Race for Love. I'm going to put it there as well. Actually, no, I'm putting it in A tier because it's my opinion, right? The reason I only put it in A tier is because there is a few skips for me. And that is a hot take. And I do have another hot take regarding one of the songs. Personally, I love Young Fuck. I'm a big Young Fuck fan. And I think Juice World and Young Fuck has some of the best music together. But On God for me doesn't hit. I know a lot of people might disagree because I know a lot of people like On God. But for me, that song doesn't hit just because I prefer songs like Bad Boy and even the last one that was on, was it Punk? Juice, um, Young Folk's last album. I even prefer that song. So to me, it just doesn't hit the same. But yeah, again, it's got huge hits like Robbery and Hear Me Calling and Empty. But it has more skips compared to Goodbye and Good Riddance. It's not as concise in my opinion. Now, next up, Fighting Demons. I'm going to put it in C tier. Um, this album to me didn't feel like something Juice had planned. And I don't think he did. I don't think this album was a planned album. And it, to me, it just felt like a lot of songs that Juice World fans wanted on right not only that but it had rich and blind and legends as bonus tracks i mean i guess that's good for vinyls if you get a vinyl of this that's kind of cool but i does it belong on the album maybe not not only that it was really messy with the go hard um song because they had to change it and they wanted they added the extra verse that people wanted and they just put two go hards on so you have normal go hard and then go hard 2.0 um also the skits again i i skip um but songs that i liked on it were already dead of course which a lot of people never thought would release and doom um i'm a big fan of the song doom and i don't think it was called doom when it was leaked but it's a great song now so the reason it's in c tier really isn't juice world's fault in my opinion it's just compared to goodbye and good riddance and even death death race for love you can tell juice world didn't put this album together and had no say in it so for me it has to be c tier and it has to be lower rated than legends never die for sure which is often b tier now legends never die i think it was a good send-off for juice world because it had some of the more prominent leaks that he had out at the time um not only that but it wasn't too hefty with the collabs now it did have a few it had the weekend and trippy red and marshmallow but juice world's albums usually aren't filled with features compared to a lot of posthumous albums which is good now my favorite song on this was can't die i think it was called flashback oh no that's probably a totally different song I, uh, oh no i think it was called time stops when it was leaked and i loved this song so when it got an official release i was so happy um wishing well obviously everybody loved that one it just blew up and it felt a little bit more like a juice world album you know like it, it some of the songs did blend well and it didn't go off track that often um it even had an intro and an outro as well and a lot of people thought the outro was corny because it's basically Juice World talking from like heaven. So a lot of people found it corny, but I think it was a cool little send off for Juice Man. Um, but yeah, now this is probably a hot take, but for me, World on Drugs, 
it's the same as you know what i'll put it up just above legends never die just because juice world made it when he was alive so he at least got to have that creative you know uh oh god forgive me my phone i could edit that out but who cares bro juice world at least had that creativeness behind the album and yeah but for me there's a lot of skips on this album and to me there's only a few hits and a lot of people are also gonna hate that but when this album first came out i don't remember it getting that much love I wasn't huge into the Juice World community at the time, but I was a big fan of Juice before he passed. And I don't remember this album getting all that much love. I think a lot of people said it was kind of, uh, not mid, but disappointing for Future and Juice World collab. But yeah, what do you guys think of my tier list? Um, Juice World fans are crazy. So I, I already know I'm getting doxxed and hated after this. But let me know what you guys think of my tier list. Or maybe don't actually, if you have nothing nice to say. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching.